Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to create pivot table in Excel. Like and subscribe support this channel, let's get started. Let's consider the following example. Suppose we have such a table, in which each row represents the sale deals of a particular product, which category this product belongs to, which manager made this deal, in which month the deal was made, to which city and for what amount. The table presented is not large, but in reality the number of rows can be much larger. Our goal is to make an annual report that will show which products in which city were sold for what amount. To successfully build a pivot table, the source table must be simple. Have a simple one-row structure with no bricks, empty rows and columns, and no merged cells. In order not to think about the size of the table and not to track changes in the number of rows and columns in this table in the future, we will convert the current table into a smart table. Select any cell inside the table and select the comment on the main tab, Format as a table. The design option for a smart table doesn't matter. You can select any and after clicking OK our table will become smart. That is, when adding new rows and columns to it, they will automatically be included in the database and included in the annual report. On the table design tab that appeared after converting the table to a smart one, you can change the name of the table and this name will be used to build a pivot table. Now go to the insert tab and create a pivot table. Click on the pivot table button and the pivot table's creation window appears. Pay attention to the fact that Excel itself understood the limits of our dynamic range of a smart table based on the name. In this menu, Excel asks where to apply the annual report to the current sheet or to a completely new one. It's best to do this on a separate sheet. Click OK and we get to a new blank sheet on which there will be such a structure in the left half our pivot table will be built. And in the right we now see a list of pivot tables fields. Let's look at this window. In its upper part there is a list of available fields for the pivot table. As you can see all the items listed above match the headers of the smart table set as the data source. By selecting these items and putting them in the sections below, we will now create the summary table that is needed for our annual report. To begin with, take the product field and drop it into the rows section. Immediately products indications appeared in the separate rows in the summary table. We throw the cities into the column area, then we throw the amount into the value area. In the filters area we will draw the manager field and the months field. And what we got is that all the products are sorted alphabetically along the lines without repetitions. The columns show all the cities in which deals were made. Uh, the intersections of rows and columns shows the total revenue in the city for these products. And additionally, I can filter products, cities and managers who have made deals using simple filters. Since the products are grouped by category, we will drop the category field into the row area. Moreover, it matters in which position the category field will be located. If from below, the appearance of the table will not be informative, but if we swap the product and category fields, then the table becomes much better and more informative. Now I'll tell you how to use the filter. For example, we'll filter sales in January. Click on the symbol and select January. We received all sales in January. Filtering by managers, click here and select the desired manager and find out what deals that selected manager has concluded. And if you need to filter the table by product, then click here and change the category to the product. 
and you can exclude all unnecessary products and leave only the necessary ones. Categories are filtered in the same way. Now let's put the numerical part of the table in order. Right click on any number and select the number format command. So we'll immediately change the format for the entire field of the pivot table. So let's select the number format command, then select number. We don't need the decimal part, remove it and also choose a separator which will allow us to divide numbers into thousands, millions, and so on. Click OK, and as you can see, the entire pivot table immediately took an, a normal appearance. We can also change the table depending on what information we need at the moment. For example, we need sales by month, not by city. Then we will put the months field in the columns area and we'll put the cities in the filters area. And we have received sales data by month and we can filter sales in cities. If we don't need subtotals, you can remove them by clicking this setting or change the location of the subtotals at the top or bottom. The same can be done with the ground totals by clicking the next setting. And to change the appearance of a pivot table, you can use the design tab that appears when creating a pivot table. And it has a large number of ready-made formats for pivot tables, where you will always find a bright format for your table. And for a visual display of numbers, you can use histograms for this. We select several cells with numbers and select conditional formatting on the main tab. Then data bars and apply color fill to the cells. The width of which depends on the number, the larger the number, the wider the fill. And to apply such formatting not only to selected cells, but to the entire pivot table at once, you can use this formatting options icon. This parameter allows you to apply the created rule not only to the selected cells, but also to all cells in the pivot table except for the values of the ground total. And in conclusion, I'll show you why pivot tables are so convenient. For example, we forgot to add data from New York, no matter for what reason. We select the cells with this data and copy them. Then we insert the data into the next row after our smart table. The smart table immediately recognizes new data and absorbs it into itself. Now, in order for this data to be displayed in our pivot table, select any cell of the pivot table and in the data section click on refresh. And new data from New York is instantly added. That's it, now you know a little more, thanks for watching.